This video is going to cover creating this little uh, most recent message feed as well as these small changes to the home page. There's really nothing we need to do in the console for this video, so instead we're going to be focusing mostly on VS Code. The first thing we want to do is open up our app controllers and our pages controller. And in here, I guess I'm going to have everything under the sun crash on me. We can start by setting the recent messages for the home action. Now you can either call the method we're going to use here in the home action like this, or you can set a before action if you want to, or you call recent messages, and then you say do this only for the uh, home. So we can do that and we can come down here and we can say def recent messages and then we can space this out a bit so that my formatter is happy with me. And then we can say we need the public room. I guess we need the public rooms, which are gonna be equal to room.public rooms. And then we can grab the at messages, which is gonna be equal to message.where the room is a public room. And then we want to do a dot order and we'll order this by created at DESC. And we'll give this a limit of, I guess, uh, 15 would work. We're basically gonna stream these down and then we chop them off at the bottom. So you do have some overlap there, but it just kind of, I don't know, to me it looks better than if you were to just have a bit of white space. So you're free to style it however you'd like, of course. This is mostly just about the functionality itself. So now let's come over to the views and the pages in the home page. And in here, we basically need to redo some of this. So uh, we keep the turbo chat header, but then we wrap all of this inside of a couple divs. Our first one's gonna be a row. We actually give this row some inline styling where we say the style is equal to margin of zero pixels and padding of zero pixels. And then we can hit enter on this and we can drag this all the way down. So by doing that, if we now type rails s to start the server and refresh the page, you'll see that everything looks kind of gross, but that's okay, we're still working on it. Next thing we want to do is come down here and do a call dash eight. And we're once again going to give this some inline styling, which is just going to be a padding of zero pixels. This is just because for some reason the app was having some weird issues with the padding on these columns. Not entirely sure what's up with that, but you know, it's an easy enough fix that you can always change later down the road. Now, if we refresh, everything goes back to this horizontal layout. We're also gonna get rid of this image tag because there's really no point in having it. It was mostly just for troubleshooting. And then below the H1, we'll add in a P tag with some breaks, which is just a quick little uh, intro blurb about the app, which will then look like this. So it looks fine. And then let's wrap this inside of a card. So we'll say dot card dot P dash five for padding five. And we're just gonna wrap all of this around with some padding. We're doing that because it causes it to sit inside of this card, which looks a little bit better than it just hugging the walls like that. Once that's done, we can go ahead and drop everything into a button group. So we'll say .btn group. I'll hit tab again, and then we'll drag this down and we'll tab these over. We'll move the logout to the bottom here, and then we'll put a space right here. And we'll copy this and we'll give each of these a class. The start chatting will be a primary, edit can be a secondary, and logout can be a danger, I think, which should change these to these colors. That looks good to me. Then for the login here, we'll do the same thing. We'll give this one a class and this one a class. We'll leave the registration as a secondary and we'll make the login as a primary. So we come here and we log out. This looks a little bit weird. Let's wrap it in a button group. So we'll come down here, dot btn dash group, tab, enter down, grab both of these, tab them over. And that looks a little bit better. Let me log back in, dnaexample.com with a password to password. There we go. Now we wanna add in our little activity feed. 
So we're gonna come over here. We need to leave two divs at the bottom here and then do our activity feed right here. We want to do a turbo stream from public messages is what I called it. We then wanna do a call dash four because we're still inside of this row. And for this call dash four, we want to give it a ID equal to public messages and a style equal to overflow hidden height. I think we've been using a calc of 100 VH minus the height of the nav bar. And then we have a padding of zero pixels again. So that allows us to do our messages. So we'll say at messages.each do message. And then we can end it down here. And then inside of this, we just wanna call render messages slash message underscore preview, where we pass in the message, which means of course we need to create this message preview partial. So we'll come over to our messages folder underscore message underscore preview.html.erb. And in here we wanna do a turbo frame tag for the DOM ID of message. We'll say do, come down here and end it. We then need a message preview div. So that'll give it an ID. We then want a card with a ID of message preview card. Oops, not the dot P5. GitHub Copilot is trying to help. There we go. Now inside of this, we want a dot card dash body and a dot row. And then inside of that, we want a dot call dash eight. And then inside of that, we can finally put our content tag, which has a P tag with a message dot user dot email. Uh, dot email comma class of msg dash role dash and then we called this the current user role or the message user role and we do want to make sure that we close this properly so we grab the parentheses right there next we can come down give this a call dash four and then inside of this call dash four we want to do a link to the message dot room dot name with a room path of message.room and some data of turbo colon quotes false, which is the Rails spaghetti code way of saying don't use turbo for this. Really not a fan of it, but it's what we got. And then we can come down here and we can say create a content tag for the div, the message.body, and a style of color FFF. I know the irony in me doing inline styling and complaining about spaghetti code, but this is for a tutorial and this is for a uh, well-adopted framework. So if we come over here and we refresh, we now have this stuff displaying down here. We just need to give it some styling and then hopefully we can get it to pop up there. We'll see in a second. So let's come up to our chat room assets, style sheets right up here, I think. And then here we can come down to the bottom scroll down past it and we'll just add a little bit of inline styling so for this uh, i think i just had looks like we weren't even in here it looks like it might be the application.scss this is usually the part i cheat on i just come over to my previous notes so we scroll down to the bottom first thing we do is we give it a message preview card with a background we come over here refresh that changes the color already looks a lot better we then give it a message preview, which has a animation called fade in. So of course we need to give that a fade in animation, which we do down here with keyframes fade in. It has a from, it has a two, so it goes from zero opacity to one opacity. So from being invisible to being visible. And if we come in here and we refresh, it uh, looks like it doesn't want to pop up, but if we test this with another thing, uh, we should see it work. So let me uh, let me figure out what's wrong first. I think this might be what's up. We have three divs down here instead of two, and we need one up here. So let's grab this one, we'll move it up, we'll tab it back. Then the messages should be wrapped inside of a div, like that. 
and then everything else should line up. And now if we come over here and we refresh, our divs are on the side. So now let's test this with another account. All right, I can come over here, get rid of my console, and I can click start chatting. I'm logged in as, what is it, john at doe.com. So first of all, if I message myself a test, you'll see it doesn't pop up over here. So that's good. Now, if I come over to general and I message myself a test, I'm pretty sure this also won't work, which it doesn't. And hopefully you can guess why. Basically, we need to come into our actual message model and tell it to send this message. So for this, we have to come into models and message because again, we have the channel set up on the home page like we've done previously, wherever I put that. Uh, but we don't have this being broadcasted from the message model yet. So it's one of those things that can trip you up if you're not paying attention. But thankfully, it's a pretty easy fix. We just come into our message model Inside of after create commit, we just pop in a broadcast to the home page and we can scroll down to the bottom. We'll create a private method called def broadcast to home page. And then inside of this, it's trying to use action cable. We don't need action cable though. We just need to do a broadcast prepend later. So this is gonna prepend the message to the public messages. Prepend is the opposite of append, so this will put it at the beginning rather than the end. We then have the target, which is our public messages div, which we assign right here with the ID. We then have a partial, which is the partial we created that doesn't have a reference to the current user. Remember, this is all message.user, so it doesn't matter if we send it to 100 people. They don't need to know anything about the person who sent it. We then have the locals, which just is the message itself, because in the home page, when we pass in the message, we or when we create the message partial, we pass in the message. So here we need to pass in the message, which is just this message itself. So that handles the case of prepending a message. Of course, we don't want to sit here and have this uh, endlessly grow as we keep sending messages. Now, we would also like it if it could, you know, refresh the page when we click refresh, but for some reason it got stuck. So this is a little bit annoying. I'm not a fan of the overflow here, but for now this is fine. What I'd like to take a look at is what happens when I send a message now. So if we come over here, I'll send some in general. It gets added to the top, but the problem is if we keep doing this, you can watch the scroll bar on the right. It's just gonna keep growing as I spam this endlessly because it just keeps adding more and more. Now, if I refresh, the scroll bar resets itself. So on initial reset, it has 15 messages, but as you spam, you run into problems. So one way to fix that, which is my lazy way of fixing it, is you can actually just grab the, let's say the fifth message if you wanted to, or you would wanna grab the 15th in the case of how we have this set up. I'm gonna use the fifth here and I'm actually gonna change the pages controller to use the, or to use five messages as its default. So I'll come over here and I'll refresh. This does give us a little bit of white space, but you can of course configure this later. I just wanna do this so you can take a look at how, how this works. So we now have it limited to five. So one, two, three, four, five. So when I send a new message with the word test, I want it to get rid of the number eight down here. And the way we can do that is we can come over to our message model and we can broadcast or remove to, so we'll say broadcast remove to the public messages. And we wanna set a target of message to remove because this is actually grabbing the fifth message. So you know how you have that first or that dot second. You can go all the way up to, oops, you can go all the way up to dot fifth, which will grab the fifth item in the list. And in this case, that is gonna be the one we want to remove. So then we broadcast a remove to the channel with that target. And now if I refresh this page and I send the word test inside of general, or better yet, let's come over to testing. If I send the word test inside of here, you'll see it pops off the bottom one and it adds in a new one. And if we come in on the main account and we click on one of these, maybe general to clear these notifications, 
we say hello everyone and it pops up over here along with our admin username highlighting. But that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully it was helpful and I will see you in the next one.